Hey guys, welcome to your first spoken English class. So, what is spoken English? Spoken English is something trying to speak in English. So, what are essential for spoken English? First of all, you have to be a good listener. Yes. First of all, you have to try listen what I am saying. You have to understand what I am saying. Okay. Second step, you have to be a good reader. You have to take a book or a notebook and try to read the unknown words you have to search in dictionary and note the meanings in your maternal language. You have to know the meaning each and every word and make the meaning by yourself. Okay. Third step, you have to be a good speaker. So this will make you good in spoken English. So what are the essentialities? of English. English is a standard language. We all know English is spoken throughout the world. It is a standard language. Everybody knows English. So, it will make you help to communicate with others. Communication is the most essential for ourselves. So, you are trying to understand my words. This is also a step to spoken English. When you will speak English, you have to apologize the listeners that who are listening to you. So, for spoken English, you have to know the rules how to speak English frequently, good and vastly. First of all, the rules are mainly the grammar you have learned previously. So, which are the essential grammars you need to know spoken English? So, you have to start from the basic sentences. Some meaningful words make sentences. Sentences should have a complete sense. Uncomplete sense meaning cannot be a sentence. Okay. So sentences are mainly important at first to know about English. Sentences are divided and they have two words. First, sentences have two words, affirmative, negative. Affirmative means yes, negative means no. Second part, that is five divisions of sentences, assertive means you can say something logic, something sentence is called affirmative or assertive sentence, assertive. Interrogatives. When I ask you some questions, you can tell that interrogative sentence. As example, what is your name? Oh yeah, assertive sentence. Assertive sentence example, you love to play cricket. It is an information. It can be also assertive sentence. Okay. Too much hot, so I am sweating. Sorry. So, you have knowledge about assertive sentence, interrogative sentence. Assertive sentence means something logic about a sentence. Interrogative, questioning someone, imperative. When a sentence describes about some request or some order, as example, please give me some water. Or order, go to play cricket, go to your study. Then it is called imperative sentence. Optative sentence. What is optative sentence? When someone is requesting to God or willing, expressing your wishes, then it is an optative sentence. As example, may God bless you. Okay. Exclamatory. Exclamatory means sudden feelings. Hooray, we have won the game. Alas, he is dead. Means exclamation mark needed and a sudden emotion you have to, have to be needed. Next part for spoken English, you have to learn parts of speech. And one key note, when you are speaking, trying, trying to speak in English and you are not good in English, don't try to speak first, speak slowly as I am. I am not as big and good speaker. But I am trying. Trying will make you successful. So, try. 
try your best okay next parts of speech what is parts of speech sentences next is parts of speech noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction what is noun can you tell me what is noun let me explain noun when something naming word is described then it is a noun as example rabindranath tagore okay boys are playing cricket boys is noun rabindranath tagore is noun now our noun is divided into several parts countable noun uncountable noun common noun proper noun abstract noun material noun etc etc so what is common noun when a noun not particularly describes any naming word then it is a noun example a boy plays cricket here boy is not particularly addressing anyone's name so boy is a common noun the girl is going on the road the girl girl is common noun because it is not properly describe anything it is common next proper noun what is proper noun proper noun properly at properly symbolizing some name rabindranath tagore vidyasagar surya is describing you about spoken okay, english tense so here surya is proper noun okay particularly name symbolizing collective noun very important when a noun describes about a gang a army a team then we can call it a collective noun or collection of nouns many nouns together collection of nouns collective noun example galaxy of stars swarming of bees we have many examples like army of soldier class of students here class galaxy of stars galaxy swarming of bees swarming flock of sheep flock so these are examples of collective noun next countable noun uncountable noun countable noun which noun can be count we can count which noun as example how many books you have books books are countable so we can call it countable noun teddies how many teddies you have teddy is a countable noun scale scale can be a countable noun because we can count earrings bags and what is uncountable noun the noun cannot be countable as example as example milk milk cannot be counted okay sugar here now everyone will say we can count but is it perfectly countable no so we cannot call it countable okay sand hair sugar countable but we should not write is countable it should be uncountable now next what is pronoun you should know about pronoun when we are using noun again and again the sentence is not hearing good so we use he she they him you instead of the proper noun or the noun so the word which sits in the position of noun is called pronoun he she they him you her these are pronoun adjective 
what is adjective when something describes about your qualities good she is good in drawing you are a you are a happy boy happy good qualities you have this is adjective verb is the est what you are doing is verb doing something working these are verbs i go to play cricket play is work i am sleeping sleeping also work i am making videos making videos also verb so what you are doing is also a verb adverb after verb l y is added is adverb next adverb means l y added preposition what is preposition when preposition when a uh, word is describe about something's position as example the cap is on the bottle on on is a preposition because it is describing the position of the cap so here what is on when the on it when a matter is up attached with the object another object then you can call it on in in inside in for inside over means over above means above and up many other prepositions which gives the position of the object or the material is preposition so this are the common things you have to know in next part i will describe about tenses very much important tenses present tense past tense future tense conjunction and adverb i will clear in next class so today's class i wanted to tell you about that spoken english not so easy not so hard you have to be confident i am not a teacher but i am trying you have to also try you have to try to listen everybody's word ignore your maternal language means not during your studies i am saying when you are watching youtube videos when you are doing something try to speak in english use your maternal language but not all the time then you will be able to speak in english learn first learn then hear then try to read and then last try to speak with your friends with your teacher mistake will be done by you by me but mistake will make you perfect thank you bye